Let's distribute the weight. Feels good not to have to drag a Brahmin. Things are getting... Oh, it's you again. What is it? Really? The tops, huh? Well, it's no shark club, but I hear security on the strip is real tight. Even Mr. Bishop wouldn't hit a joint like that. I'll check it out. Thanks. Hey there. Need any? Howdy there, partner. My story's a long one, friend, and I can't say as it's all that interesting. Well, I was born in a little town out Montana way. Me and Ma didn't have much, ever since my pa up and left. That he did. Never did know why. Ma always said he was a real mysterious fella, even when he was with her. Like he was a stranger sometimes. Maybe. Maybe I just never felt like I belonged back home. It sure wasn't easy. 
Ma worked her fingers to the bone to make sure we had enough to survive. And I worked the coal mines from when I was 15. After Ma died, I guess I wanted to find my pa and get some answers from him. Been out here looking ever since, but he ain't an easy man to find. Can't say as I really know. Maybe I'll just ask him why. Maybe I'll punch him right in the mouth. Hell, the more I talk about it, the more the whole damn thing sounds like a dumb idea. Maybe I should. Don't suppose you know any place a fellow with a guitar might find a job, huh? Hmm, maybe it's time to give these tired old bones a rest. All right, show me what you've got. Much obliged to you, friend. Thank you for visiting New Vegas. Hey, baby. There's more of this waiting for you inside. It's hard to sleep in this place, I tell you. Last night, some... You again. All right, the... Yeah? Hey, you're all right. Tell him I'll do it for a hundred a night. No, fifty. No, twenty. Ten. Just don't rob me. I'll do it. Whoa, geez, what was I thinking? You're right. I gotta go in there with a cool head. Tell them how much I'm really worth. I guess those are Meredith Fink's got what was coming to him. Well, if it isn't my... Too bad I got this ironclad contract with the Garretts. They'll never let me out of it. Huh. Good luck. Garrett's a tough, mean son of a bitch. He's not likely to give up. Let me know if you make any headway. I hear the Legion is camping out across the river. I hope they're not planning to attack. Those bloodthirsty mole rats are never up to any good. Now why would I want to do that? His performances make me quite a lot of money. I suppose you've got a point. Plenty of Brahmin on the prairie and all that. Fine, I'll cut him loose. He's all yours. Bye. Fiends have been less bargaining. Sir, or I someone's looking to cash their chips early.
Thank you for visiting New Vegas. Any luck with Garrett yet? Really? You mean I'm finally out of this shithole? That's great! Thank you! Hey, hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to the finest entertainment experience in New Vegas. My name is Tommy Torini, and how can I make your night? Dig it, baby. He beat feet to his sweet. You scare the big boss man or something? The cowboy act, yeah. He dropped on in here not too long before you. He's got chops, baby, real chops. And I ain't just talking about that mustache. And like we agreed, here's your fee. 3% of the cut comes to 100 caps. Don't spend them all in one place now, unless it's right here. You talking about Mr. Isaac? Damn, baby, when you bring them in, you bring them in. That cat's gonna bring me money like you wouldn't believe. Here's your 3%, baby. You enjoy that. That comedian, you mean? Yeah, he was a hell of a haggler. Cost me a pretty cap. Hope he's worth it. Here's your 3%. That ugly mug with the razor tongue? Dig it, baby. He'll be one hell of a novelty act, just like Tommy promised. Here's your three percent. You know it, baby. Take it easy, baby. Away. Are you ready to head up river? The trip will take a few hours. Take your place on the boat. By order of Kaisar, all visitors must disarm and relinquish all banned items. 
alcohol, and all chems, including stims and other addictive items. I know not why Kaisar would wish to speak with such a physically inferior whelp, but I will allow this one exception. You may bear Kaisar's mark, but do not attempt to share any of your medicine with anyone in the fort. Your belongings will be returned to you when you leave. to Kaisar. I can't wait until they let me fight. Excuse me. I'm harsh on the children, but... If you're injured, I might have healing powder to spare. I never finished my training. The Legion saw to that when they overran my town. I do know basic first aid, but I've had to rely on tribal remedies to treat illnesses and injuries. Healing powders and all that. I'm always running low on Xander root. Plenty of Brock flowers, though. Oh, I've been using two roots per flower. Thanks to you, I'll be able to create twice as much healing powder per day. For sale? I'm a slave, not a merchant. I could give you some healing powder every day, but you'd have to be a friend of the Legion. I can only do that if you're a friend of the Legion. I don't want to get crucified. What do you want to know? We're property. If you're too young or too old, the men usually leave you alone. Usually. Three years and counting. If I could just get across the river, I'd be free. Not that I'd try it. I've seen what happens when you get caught. Okay. talk to you. It's not allowed. I guess that's okay. Um, if you're a friend, can you help me? Anthony took Sergeant Teddy away and gave him to the stinky dogs. I want him back. I kept him secret, but 
I think somebody told on me. Thanks. Um, I help take care of the Brahmin. I sometimes bring water and food to people. Um, that's it. Bye-bye. Outsiders are a rare sight at the fort. Step carefully around here and you might just leave alive. I'm Antony, master of the hounds. This stupid girl should know by now that even the rags on her back are a privilege. Anyway, my mongrels like their new toy. Tell you what, you square off with four of my best dogs. No armor and no weapons except a machete. You survive? And I let you have the bear. I think they'll probably end up killing you. I trained them myself. But if you do win somehow, the mongrels will at least get honorable deaths. Good luck. You'll need it. Your stuff is in the crate next to the arena entrance. Leave it there too long, and we'll dump it in the lake. He's a story to frighten the younger legionaries. He's dead. No man, no matter how tough, could survive a fall into the Grand Canyon. Later! Awe, true to Kaiser.
All right. Awe, true to Kaiser. You're the courier who caused so much trouble for my legion. And yet you dare come before me. All the bribes I sent to the Omertas ended up buying me nothing. The Great Khans aren't exactly clamoring to fight for my legion now. The garrison I established at Nelson has been wiped out. The kings of Freeside are cooperating with the NCR now, which frees up soldiers to defend the dam. So tell me this, because I really want to know. I am feared with good reason. But you, of all people, dare to come here and stand before me, the mighty Kaisar. What were you thinking? Maybe I should have you struck blind so my face is the last sight you ever behold. Look, you do know why I wanted to meet you, right? A man nearly kills you so you track him across the breadth of the Mojave. You arrive on the strip and waltz into the Lucky 38 like someone left you a key under the doormat. You visit the tops, and next thing you know, the head of the chairman is fleeing the strip like a whimpering little pup. When you set your mind to something, you get results. I like that. The question is, are you ready to get started? The time is fast approaching when my legion will assault the Great Dam and invade the West. Before that happens, I want Mr. House knocked out of the game. A quick one-two punch with you doing the punching. I have eyes and ears everywhere. It behooves me not to invade the West blind and deaf. It hasn't been hard to track your progress. It's not as though you've been keeping a low profile. Down the hill at the west edge of camp is an old building. It was here when the fort was taken in 2277. Inside the building is a hatch, and inside that hatch are two steel doors that bear the sigil of the Lucky 38 Casino. Now that same sigil is on the platinum chip Benny was carrying when we captured him. Isn't that interesting? Even more interesting, there's a slot about the same size as the chip on the console that opens the hatch. So you know what I think? I think the platinum chip opens those doors. Doors that can't be pried open, or drilled open, or blasted open. Because all that, I tried. Benny's theory, if I understood it through all the screaming, was that Mr. House stashed some kind of ultimate weapon down there. A gigantic robot to stomp us all to death. Who cares? Whatever it is, House built it. So I want it destroyed. I want you to destroy whatever you find in there. And then I want you to come back here and tell me about it. So go to the building and take this fucking platinum chip with you. My legionaries will meet you there, with your weapons and equipment. Talk to Benny on your way out. He knows I'm going to let you decide how he dies. Maybe you want to remind him. Let's hit the road. Can't believe you want to talk to this guy. I'll hold up here. Let's hit the road. Careful where you flash that chip of yours. Not sure what kind of caps it's worth, but it's a tempting target. Ask him then. The Legion? What about them? I don't trade caps or supply anyone who keeps slaves and treats women like Brahmin in those camps of theirs. There's some caravans that deal with the Legion, yes. And as much as it pains me to say it, any caravan marked by the Legion is safe as houses. They guard their roads, their supply lines, 
Even fiends would hesitate before going after any traitor dealing with Legion. I am. If NCR took the same stand and committed patrols to the roads, then I'd think that'd solve a lot of their problems right there. But they don't. Caravans get butchered in the Mojave all the time, like mine. And so fucking close to Vegas, you could see it from the wall. NCR tries. It's just that trying doesn't mean a whole lot when you're paying your respects to the dead. And Legion, from what I've heard, they don't do the stop tolls on the roads or in the outposts like some NCR quartermasters do. You're lucky if you turn a profit sometimes if some new officer gets assigned a route, the fees just get worse. Much as I hate the Legion, caravan life would be a hell of a lot easier if they ran the roads. Well, as long as those companies were run by men, and that's the biggest issue I see. And it's a shame, but I think there's people on the NCR side who feel more strongly than I do. Some caravans deal with the Legion now because the security. If towns could get the same protection, a lot more tempting than you'd think. A bunch of people would be willing to side with the Legion to not have to worry about fiends and boomers and powder ganger attacks. It's not hard for some folks to sell freedom when the alternative is worse. Especially if being with NCR is going to get you on a Legion cross. Kaisar has permitted your weapons to be returned to you while you serve him. Kaisar has put a lot of trust in you. Be worth it. Our way, true to Kaisar. of schedule. I suppose it's just as well. This is where I wanted you to end up after all. I knew I could rely on Caesar to give you back the platinum chip. <sighs> it is obvious to you that I built this place. The platinum chip opened it after all. In any case, you're here, so let's get to it. <sighs> The Platinum Chip unlocks this bunker. Hence, you have it. Hence, Benny was captured or killed. Possibly by you, but by my estimates, far more probably by Caesar's Legion. Hence, Caesar gave you the chip. Hence, Caesar wants you to destroy whatever you find in this bunker. But that's not going to happen, because you're going to work for me. I need you to manually upload the data from the chip to the facility's primary computer. There's a terminal at the other end of this facility. There's a complication. While I can broadcast to this screen, I can't control any of the facility's systems. That means I can't deactivate its security bots, most of which appear to be active according to the status board I'm looking at. I like to think you have enough sense to do the right thing. The rewards for doing so are immense, as are the punishments for not doing so. Do not attempt to flee. Justice will be in.
administered safely and fairly. Carried out Kaisar's will, but I must confiscate your equipment again. What? You'll pay, You'll for, pay that. for that. You like that.
What do you need? Engaging target. Have you done this? Centuries of preparation. So much good undone. Fool to let personalities derail future of mankind. Let's roll out.
Well, look who it is. What can I do for you? Unfortunately for you, I'm not authorized to trade with you. It's against regulations. Well, that is great and all, but it's really against regulations. I guess I can make an exception, just for you. Another satisfied customer. Bye. Good, you made it. I've been receiving reports about the savior of the NCR for a while now and wanted to meet you myself. You've proven yourself especially capable. And right now, I can use all the capable people I can get. Crocker gets handed the fluff missions that no one else wants to do. When people need something really important done, they come to me. Usually I dispatch one or more rangers to see these things through, but I'm a little short-handed at the moment. Think you're up for a real mission? Since the majority of my men are on assignment dealing with the Legion, I need someone to handle other matters that have arisen. Make no mistake, there's a battle coming, and I intend to make sure there are no loose ends when the time comes. One such loose end is a gang known as the Great Khans. Have you heard of them? Good riddance. You've had reports for years that they're the ones who supply the fiends with chems, but no one's done anything about it. In any event, no one will miss them. And I've got another mission for you. We've had some disturbing reports recently concerning the Omertas, one of the three families that run the Strip. Our intelligence has discovered that high-ranking members of the Omertas have been having clandestine meetings for the past several months. We haven't been able to determine whom they've been meeting with, but if it's Caesar's men, we'll need to act. I need you to uncover what they're up to and stop it if it threatens the NCR. Any questions? Excellent. You'd think living in the lap of luxury and power would be enough for some people, but no. Now that that's out of the way, let's see. Mr. House was a concern, but someone conveniently dealt with him for us. Oh, that reminds me. You might be happy to know that your efforts haven't gone unnoticed. The Brass have been throwing around the idea of having the President visit the dam for a while now, to rally the troops and boost morale and such. With our recent achievements, they finally feel secure enough to stage the damn thing. But while it's being planned, I have one last mission for you. Several years ago, we managed to wrest the Helios-1 solar power station from the Brotherhood of Steel chapter local to this area. It was a crushing victory, but no one's heard a peep from the Brotherhood since. Most people assume the Brotherhood is scattered and not a threat. Recently, we've had scouts go missing in an area west of Helios, and I'm concerned that the Brotherhood is involved. I want you to find them, and once you do, finish them for good. Any questions? Don't even think about it. Any Brotherhood survivors likely harbor a deep grudge against us. We can't afford to leave such an enemy alive. Any other objections? Maybe you'd like to bring the Brotherhood some flowers. Smart move for the Kings to back down. They didn't know who they were messing with. You're just in time for your action. Harden owes his life to McNamara. Harden. That's why you want.
Hey. Hi there. Looking to spend some cash? Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look. Another satisfied customer. Bye. been outside. Is the NCR really still hunting us? Harden is a tough man, but fair. I'd follow him into battle any day. Greetings, my friend. I hope I can be of some assistance to you. I suppose it was only a matter of time. I wonder if, given the NCR's current situation, they would consider a truce of sorts. We've given up our claim to Helios, and we don't have any interest in claiming Hoover Dam, so our ambitions are not at cross purposes. Perhaps it's time for a new strategy. Go to the NCR commander and tell her the Brotherhood is willing to put aside our enmity for the time being. Further, tell her that we are willing to send troops to aid in their coming defense of the dam. My guess is they're in no position to refuse. There have been reports that the NCR is moving more and more troops into the area.
Has the Brotherhood been found? And you believed them? Do you have any idea how long we've been fighting those bastards? Ugh, Crocker will have a field day with this. He'll want to establish diplomatic relations with them for Pete's sake. But we've got more important matters to attend to. The President is due to arrive soon, and we're sure the Legion won't waste such an opportunity. I want you to assist the security detail we've prepared for the President. His safety is critical to maintaining the men's fighting spirit. Go up to the visitor center and speak to Ranger Grant. He's in charge of security during the President's visit. Dismissed. Hey. I've heard of you. I'm glad you're here to help us out. This is a delicate matter, and we need all the help we can get from people we can trust. We've got a lot to do to prepare for the President's visit, and not much time. Once we start, we'll be on a strict timetable. Are you ready? Good. The President doesn't arrive until tomorrow. Get some rest. I'll brief you in the morning. Glad you could join us. Most of my men are already on duty, and the crowd has already started gathering outside. We've got a busy day ahead of us. President Kimball is arriving shortly. If you want to do any last-minute security sweeps or take a look around for anything suspicious, do it now. Once you're ready, meet me outside on the observation deck. But don't take too long. I'll meet you on the observation deck. Don't mind trailblazing as long as we got the air. Hey, I heard about you. Nope. Haven't noticed anything strange at all. Neither has my friend here, and he has a good nose for these things. Bye. Engineers and authorized personnel are allowed upstairs. Please step away. Have you finished your security sweep? Looks like that's his vertebrate coming right now. It's showtime. Let's not mess this up. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some security procedures to oversee. Only engineers and author... No one can go upstairs without authorization. Only NCR engineers or people with explicit permission from Ranger Grant are allowed roof access. The President is visiting today. Ranger Grant doesn't want anyone snooping around up there that doesn't have authorization. Sorry, no can do. Okay, just this once. Make it quick though, I don't want to get in trouble for this. Not right now, I'm busy. Guys, won't see us coming. Come back in a minute. I'm busy with security matters. Come back in a minute. I'm busy with security matters. 
job today. They got the president out safe and sound. And I couldn't have done it without you. You have my thanks. Hey, you haven't seen my friend around here, have you? His name is Ben, and he's an engineer. We were supposed to meet up so we can watch the president's speech together. But he hasn't shown up yet. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just keep waiting. Sorry to bother you. Is the president safe? Good. His death could have had a major impact on morale. This whole affair was ill-advised from the start, and I, for one, am glad it's over. While you were out, General Oliver arrived and briefed all senior officers regarding a change in our strategy. I'm not at liberty to divulge what was said, but I've been instructed to send you to him immediately. He set up his camp in the office area at the south end of his power plant. Dismissed. <laughs> 